Charles Kanos with the Southeastern Neurosurgical and Spine Institute with the Greenville Hospital System. Um, today we're going to talk about a cranial nerve thorough exam uh, examination in the office setting. First of all, when um, you're, there, there are a comp multiple neurolog uh, components of the neurological exam, the cranial nerve exam is very important and can be done very quickly in the office. First of all, the first thing I would do would, would, would check the visual fields, which would get the cranial nerve two, which is the optic nerves. That can be done grossly by holding fingers in front of them and checking their, their ability to see movements of fingers within each quad, quadrant and checking their vision. You can do it for a single, cover one eye and cover the other eye. Um, that is usually sufficient to assess vision. The, cranial, the next cranial nerves, three, four, and, and six involve um, extraocular muscle movement. Um, that is easily checked by checking for the gaze, lateral gaze, and upward gaze, and downward gaze. You're, you're looking for conjugate eye movements. Um, you're also gonna look at pupil size, which would, for the most part, involve cranial nerve number three. Um, if there is, you, you want to make sure there's no defect in the eyes or fluid, and you can do this in a matter of seconds. The fifth cranial nerve, the trigeminal, involves facial sensation and the muscles of mastication or chewing muscles. That can, that can um, be assessed by typically just sweeping your finger along the upper, the, the V1, V2, and V3 segments of the face and making sure that they feel um, th that it's symmetrical and that there is, it does not elicit any new pain. Um, you can have them bite down to make sure that they can chew. The seventh cranial nerve is the facial nerve. That can be assessed by having them squint their eyes, smile widely, and looking for facial symmetry. There's no sensation with the seventh cranial nerve. You want to make sure there's no flattening of the nasal, nasal labial fold or there's no facial droop. Um, in terms of the eighth, ni uh, eighth nerve, you can sweep your fingers together for hearing, a gentle tap, and that's, that's very intuitive. Um, you, when you were checking for the extraocular muscle movements, you, you want to make sure that there's no nystagmus, and the nystagmus is named for the fast component, and that could, um, um, that could alert you to some possible eighth cranial nerve dysfunction. The, the um, ninth and tenth cranial nerves. If you put a, you, of course, you can check a, a, a gag reflex with the, a tongue depressor. The sensation comes from the ninth cranial nerve, the glossopharyngeal, and the um, gag motor response is from the vagus nerve, which is the tenth cranial nerve. Shrugging the shoulders and the sternocleidomastoid muscle are the eleventh cranial nerve. And of course, tongue movement, make sure the tongue does not deviate to one side. The hypoglossal nerve or the 12th cranial nerve weakness, typically the tongue will deviate to the side of the lesion. Um, and that, that should, that can be, this exam can be done in usually less than 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and you can have a thorough cranial nerve exam um, in the office setting. Thank you.